Since the 1940s, mechanical tank gauges have dominated the market. Back then, big band music was popular. People had different styles of cars and homes compared to nowadays, and when you came home from work, you were treated to a home-cooked meal and maybe even a homemade apple pie. Times have changed, but after all these years, mechanical tank gauges are still around and probably will be for another 60 years. The presentation you're about to see covers one of our most successful products, the GSI 2570 Very Accurate Tank Gauge. Before we go into great detail about the GSI 2570 mechanical tank gauge, let's quickly go over mechanical tank gauges in general and provide primary reasons for their success within the market. Mechanical tank gauges are accurate and are suitable for process and inventory applications in accordance with API standard 3.1b. This standard provides for level measurement of liquid hydrocarbons in stationary tanks by automatic tank gauging. Mechanical tank gauges are more economical than custody transfer gauges such as radar, servo, or MTG. Mechanical tank gauges are reliable, representing over 55% of the installed tank gauges currently in use. Regardless of power outages, thunderstorms, or electrical surges, mechanical tank gauges provide continuous local level indication. In the next few slides, we'll further explain how the GSI 2570 mechanical tank gauge compares to other mechanical tank gauges in these three critical areas. Gauging systems evaluated the mechanical gauge market and determined improvements that could be made over existing gauges. The result of this work was the GSI 2570 mechanical gauge, which by design has increased accuracy. API standard 2509B is the standard for shop testing of automatic liquid level gauges. The 2570 mechanical tank gauge was tested against other leading tank gauge manufacturers and it was found to be the most accurate due to a lower amount of drag or hysteresis. GSI uses self-lubricating, all impregnated bronze bushings that do not distort like nylon or Teflon bushings. These are used with both the tape storage sheave assembly and inch dial assembly that can have a high degree of friction. Bronze bushings are pressed inside of the boss gland to house the sprocket and inch dial assembly. The inch dial is viewed from the front to read feet and inch values. GSI uses a stainless steel tape keeper that is heat treated to retain its shape and position. It does this even if hit with debris falling down the tape carrier pipe or with bent tape passing over the tape sprocket during operation. This isn't the case with other manufacturers' tape keepers that can be bent out of shape causing a loss of accuracy or actuation point and a need for frequent recalibration. We have incorporated ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene rollers or UHMW rollers in all of our elbows. This, along with other improvements, provides a gauge with less drag, and this results in a gauge with higher overall accuracy. The 2570 tank gauge can provide an economical solution for inventory and process applications. This gauge can be easily maintained in-house with limited training, and if support is needed, it doesn't require flying in a specialist and field engineer from out of the country to solve the problem. This technology allows a customer to start with a gauge and expand to a full inventory management system over time by adding transmitters or limit switches. Temperature devices can also be included for accurate inventory volume since the digital transmitter is able to send both level and temperature. Your tank form may have existing gauges that aren't as accurate or reliable as you would like. Replacement with a GSI 2570 gauge can provide an economical solution. As discussed previously, the GSI Model 2570 mechanical tank gauge was designed and built from field experience by technicians that worked on competitors' equipment and learned where improvements could be made. Less maintenance is required with this gauge because of better upfront design of subcomponents. The GSI 2570 uses a hairpin spring that is wrapped around the rivet to the checker pawl. The spring will stay in place when the gauge check handle is turned and released. Designs by other manufacturers risk premature breakage. 
Losing this function means inability to check the gauge calibration and the function of the gauge, elbows, and float. GSI sheave elbows are built with specially designed roller covers to eliminate the tape or cable from jumping off the roller. A tape or cable that jumps off the roller will usually result in a hung float, a float that does not operate smoothly, or tape that will eventually break. GSI uses hollow shell floats with a swivel to reduce wear on the tape or cable. Without the swivel mechanism, the tape undergoes more stress and is likely to break over time. Swivels are available in short and long versions that can be applied to various product or service applications. Our mechanical tank gauge comes with a variety of options, all of which include the reliability and accuracy enhancements we have just discussed. On the more economic end, we have the plain Jane or PJ. This is our standard unit which is built to competitive standards and can be enhanced with the following options. An upgrade of the standard negator motor to a fully enclosed cassette that is much safer and easier to install. A dual calibration assembly to allow for easy simultaneous calibration of both the gauge and a transmitter or limit switch assembly when installed. And epoxy coating of the standard aluminum housing to reduce the amount of moisture entering the gauge through normal breathing. If a customer requires all these options, then they can simply purchase the Deluxe or DX unit, which is offered in a package deal at a package price. One reason the mechanical gauge has such wide acceptance is that it can be installed on just about any tank configuration. These include standard cone roof tanks, all types of floating roof tanks, digesters, and sumps. Installations can be for ground reading or roof mount styles. GSI took all this two steps further. We not only apply our gauge to a type of tank, but also to a product application and a service application. As an example of a product application, we have developed a kit for asphalt where a liquid seal filled with kerosene is installed in the upper tape carrier pipe to keep vapors from entering the gauge head. This also serves a dual purpose as a cutting agent to clean the tape as it passes through the device. To complete the package, a special hollow shell stainless steel float with inverted float clips and a long swivel are used so that the clips holding the float are always immersed in the liquid product below the surface. A service application with success has been our turbulent and agitated product kit. Here a cone dampener float fills with product and eliminates the float from bouncing to maintain level accuracy. We have already talked briefly about some of the accessories that are packaged as part of our standard kits. We talked about the negator cassette, dual calibration assembly, liquid seal, and special floats. Keep in mind there are many other accessories that would complement a kit, such as an inspection hatch to provide easy access for repair of a gauge. Other items, such as universal elbows and condensation bottles, have specific purposes that can make a gauge easier to install and increase longevity. GSI was the first manufacturer to develop parts pads that show these gauge accessories and make it easy to identify and purchase. These are still available and have been improved. If you take a brief look at our website at gaugingsystemsinc.com, you will see all of these parts and accessories listed and described to you in detail in an easy to use and understand format. We also include all the parts that make up the gauge itself. These parts, pads, and drawings are invaluable when it comes to identifying a needed part for a gauge in need of maintenance. As we discussed earlier, part of an economical solution is to add an output device to the back of the gauge head. These can be different devices depending on the application and required accuracy. The GSI 2000 digital transmitter is used with the GSI 2570 mechanical gauge for applications requiring inventory accuracy and could even be installed on most manufacturers mechanical gauges. This steadfast and reliable GSI 2000 digital transmitter has an absolute encoder and new units are provided with the all-purpose transmitter board or APTB for ease of configuration and adaptability to existing communication highways. While other companies continue to change their design from absolute to battery backed units and back again to absolute, we have held steady and continue to provide the proven performer and highest quality unit on the market today.
The GSI Model 2400 4 to 20 milliamp analog transmitter, designed for simplicity of installation and calibration, is very competitively priced and is often used for lower accuracy applications or for integration scenarios that have a host requiring an analog input. Consisting of only three major components, the GSI 2400 analog transmitter greatly simplifies repairs and reduces parts inventories. It utilizes a standard 10-turn potentiometer through a precision gear set to derive the 4 to 20 milliamp signal from the output shaft of the mechanical gauge. Ranges can be provided for tank heights from 8 feet to 60 feet, and options are available for up to four alarm switch outputs. As with a digital transmitter, this unit can be installed on most manufacturer's gauges. The GSI 2020 limit switch assembly provides for a low-cost solution when status contact outputs from a mechanical tank gauge are required. Most units are provided for the process industry which includes wastewater applications. This switch is available in high and low accuracy units with calibration accuracies of 1 16th inch and 1 half inch. Both models support up to six cam activated single pole double throw switches per assembly. Again, as discussed with other products in this family, units can be installed on the GSI mechanical tank gauge or on most manufacturer's gauges. Well, we have shown you a lot of information in this presentation. We have talked about the GSI 2570 product features and ordering options. We discussed the types of tanks and applications these gauges can be installed on and the way we make it easy for you to purchase your spare parts and accessories from us. We also talked a little about ways to get data remotely to your host system. But the important things to remember are better accuracy because of less drag in the component design, economical prices compared to other technologies and manufacturers, and high reliability because of higher quality subcomponents. All this adds up to overwhelming reasons to buy the best mechanical tank gauge available. The GSI Model 2570. Back in the 1940s, the mechanical tank gauge was in predominance. Nowadays, life can be hectic and sometimes it's good to know there is always something you can count on being the same. High quality mechanical tank gauges, whether a standalone or maybe even as a backup to a high tech gauge, they are there and you can always count on them. And Gauging Systems Incorporated will continue to be the innovative leader in the tank gauging market. Today technology moves at an unbelievably fast pace. In many ways it saves us time. It might even save you enough time that when you come home from work, this time you can enjoy a homemade cherry pie. Thank you for viewing this presentation. We hope it was informative and gave you ideas on how you can improve your operations by utilizing the GSI 2570 mechanical tank gauge and its components, parts and accessories. Additional presentations for other GSI products and technologies are available and we sincerely hope you take time to view these.